All right, YouTube, today we are going to play some Rug Delver. I saw this deck on Daryl Ayer's Twitter. It cuts the Nimble Mongoose and plays Hooting Mandrels and Tuning Nemesis, which I kind of like. Um, Nimble Mongoose is just kind of embarrassing. So it's nice to have threats that are not embarrassing. But besides that, it's just the same thing. You get your Spell Pierces, your Spell Snare, your Stifles, your Lightning Bolts. Dismember for bigger creatures, dead gone for merit lage or other big creature or small creatures. And then in the sideboard, you know, you've got your blasts, your surgicals, your bluster storms, uh, one Sylvan library, which I'm a big fan of, uh, winter orb for the control decks. So I like this deck. I've been playing it a little bit and I've been pleasantly surprised. So I'm pretty excited to run it through a league with y'all today. Well, lastly, the four, the four one sweetness. Plus, this deck's name is sweet. It's now Hootie and the Blowfish. So let's play league match. Yeah, I took this list right from Daryl's Twitter, but he said that the Jitte wasn't very good, so I just switched it out for a library. Though I've been playing this deck off stream a little bit, and I've been trying some Cinder Vines, and I've been a big fan of Cinder Vines with it being like a Shatter that's also like. Uh, that pings your opponent. It's like a little planeswalker that sits there. So I like that. Oh, we get the moto sounds going. Let me turn that off. All right, and we're on the play, which is where we want to be. This hand is garbage. <clears throat> this hand is kind of garbage. We don't have a threat, but we've got, you know, stifle. I don't think we can mulligan this, but, you know, we've got. We've got disruption. We just need a threat. We don't want that. Lango. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to play uh, Death Shadow later. Which I'm excited about. I've had more fun playing Death Shadow recently. So I'm a little excited about that. I'm going to put my glasses on before my eyes get tired. Oh, fetch it. Get out of my house. This is like when your opponent knows. They know that this is happening. Mana denial. And we have a force of oil? No, we have a stone rain. Land. Brainstorm. Alright. Don't do me wrong, brainstorm. You did me wrong. Ugh. Maybe I'm not supposed to cast that there. Maybe it's just pass. And now we are brainstorm locked and we're in a little bit of trouble. What did Foothills miss and uh, Vernon Catacombs is an odd fetch combination? Days this. Can't really keep our opponent off mana. It'd be nice to be able to spell pierce that. It'd be nice to be able to stifle this. So we know we're drawing stifle. Hopefully we get some use out of it. Maybe my opponent is in the middle of the land. Heritage Druid. Okay. That's it, All right? <clears throat> so playing against elves. So we gotta hope the next card down is good. That was a savage brainstorm locking for the home team. That out of here. 
get a green source. The Hooting Mandal is going to be really, really good against this Heritage Druid deck. Cause just because it tramples. All right. We're in it. We are in it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my opponent's got a sorcery, so I should try to keep my instance so that Tarmogoyf stays large, but I have plenty of instants. Putting Mandrels is a big game against a bunch of chump blockers. Like, we're going to need more than just the Mandrels to win this one, but it's a good start. All right, you got it. Second Hooter is not good. Now I'm going to be a little more aggressive with my forces and my stifles just because I want to fill, fill this... Uh, I want to fill up um, the graveyard. <clears throat> you know, I want to force this. I don't think that I. If I force this, I kind of time walk them. And I still have Stifle for Crater Hook Behemoth. Eh, I probably can't. Which sucks, but that's just kind of where we're at. All right, well, now we've got to force this. So let's pitch Stifle. All right, ooze is annoying. Ooze is super annoying. I need to wake this mandrels in. No. All right, we're just attacking. It's a race we're not winning, but it's a race we've we've got to we've got to do. Another mandrels there would have been nice. Maybe I probably should have pitched my Pierce and kept the Stifle because the Spell Pierce just isn't going to do anything. That was stupid of me. I do. I love Rug Delver. I love me some Rug Delver. Whoop. All right. Flying Vigilance Trample. I think this deck's good. For what it's worth. No attacks. Sad. Well, now I feel like I'm just... Now I'm just dead. Which sucks. But... That's where we are. I remember reading about what Daryl said on Twitter, and he's like, this deck's really soft to the tribal decks because he didn't play any pyroplasms or like anything like that in the board. Here we are on Ranger. Large attacks with our 5-6 flyer. It does, but he just, he just didn't. He cut him for whatever reason. We're going to ponder. I should have done it the other way. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. All right. 
So we've got this, this, and this. And that's kind of it. Cards I am not wild about. Spell Snare is probably fine. Um, Vigilion Click is probably also good because it flies. There's a chance that Tarmogoyf is just not good. And I should cut Goyf. And just try to be all in on, like... Cut some number of Tarmor Wives. Like, I could cut, like, probably, like, two and two Spell Peers. Not exactly sure. Because, like, the Goyves are just going to get brick walled, or they're going to get wrecked by the uh, Unbeatable Buddies. I think that's what they're called. We have a pile of removal. They showed us a lot of fetch land, so I think I want these on the play. Plus, this can also just trade with a glimpse of nature. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to give this a whirl. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. We're keeping because we have a Delver on one. We're going to hope that we have Delver and an Izzet Static Caster, two really good cards. So we're going to hope that we can get there with this Brainstorm. It's kind of unfortunate we have both of our Tarmogoyfs in our hand. But such is life. My opponent's got the 61 card special going on over there. Giant Arbor. Okay. I wonder if I should upkeep this or not. I probably should. Flip this bad boy. Jeez. What a beating. I should have put the bottom one another spell too. So that my Delver flipped. We're a little out of it. We're not we're not quite warmed up yet. It's like because uh, now I can play Delver next turn, but it's gonna reveal well no, it wouldn't have mattered because I would have drawn. No, no, because I brainstorm my upkeep. All right. Yeah, because I've already cleared one of the cards. All right, you got it. Okay. At this point, we're sort of just all in on trying not to, like, using our counter spell to not die. I'm just going to attack, play another Delver, and pass. And, like, just kind of hope that does it. If Delver flips, we have a chance. So, like, Gaia's Cradle and do something scary? No. No, I'm just going to force this, I think. I'm just hoping on the second one. All right. Do we, got a, do we have a hoof? I'm going to get hoofed. Tap three, sack the arbor. Okay. You say I'm gonna get hoofed next turn. Maybe I should have kept my stifle for that reason. Probably should have. Just hope this Delver flips. No. I 
I wonder if playing my Tarmor Wave even matters. Each time I play, I've, I've forced something. I, I pitched the wrong card. I think I'm just going to pass. Like, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two. Like, maybe we can spell Pierce to make it so that a Crater Hook doesn't do that much to us. All right, that's a good start. So one, two, three, four, five. Choke. Yep. Go cook your ass when you've never been in a deck with a hot potato. Uh, some people just like playing what they play. So we would like to flip to force or to a stifle. Flipping to force of will slash stifle would be the stones here. No, we're going to fetch. Now I have to think. Activate this ability once each turn. Because, like, I think if my opponent goes to bounce the visionary, I'm going to flash these in and kill both the druids. What did I do here? Three tears of jewelry returning where would some Okay, so now I'm not gonna do it. Good morning, I come to advice. This is playing six control and a full rich plant. Return after the turn when he when it was being killed. First error there was a plate of shadow turn. Turn after turn when it was being killed and ended up in my threats. Okay. Oh, is this the Archon? Yeah, that's annoying. I guess I have to bring these in now. Just flash this in. I don't want him naming creatures in response. Okay. Let's see, not counting what you just said in the screen play. All right, I'm going to hang on. It, it, um, let me wait till the game's over here. I'm going to shoot this right now. Get him to return, and then I'm going to shoot both of these dryad arbors. Okay. Okay, so it flips. I guess I could just shoot both of these visionaries. And waste one of these. Because I know they have a visionary in their hand. Let's 
I guess this makes three mana versus two, so I'll just shoot both of these. Then pass, leave my wasteland up. I might waste the Pendlehaven actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cut my opponent off as many outs as possible, I guess. Make them hoof me this turn. Make sure I counter both of my players. Yeah, you should always protect Dermag Angler. You should always try to protect your threats, unless your plank blockers are going to immediately win you the game. Oh wow, this thing. I guess I can trade with this, but then I don't have anything going on. I guess I do have to trade with this thing eventually. Make it so I can play magic. Right, I'm going to shoot this right now so they can't loop it. I could shoot the Dryad Arbors, but like cutting them off that much mana just doesn't really matter. Because they have the Heritage Druids. Um, I don't think Abrax is actually a decent deck to start with if you haven't played Modern, because it, it has play patterns that are unlike any other deck in the format. So like... It's a hard deck to branch out from. I think I have to trade with this Archon. <coughs> and then hope that the uh, Static Caster gets me out of this. Just gonna get on a visionary. Yeah, you want to keep your keep the threats on the board, you know. All right. Which is another wire with symbiote, which is going to slow everything down. I don't think I can win at this point. I'm going to go shoot his heritage druids, hope he's not paying attention, and then. If he lets that go, I'll continue to play. If not, then that might just kill me anyways. Uh, also, I can't decide where I want to put this return. All right, scoop it up. Dredge, Dredge is the best deck out of all those. Dredge is a very good deck in the format. I always struggle playing against elves. Like, I just never, I, I, don't, I just don't feel comfortable playing that deck. I would like to sit down and, like, play a bunch of matches against that deck because I just don't know, I don't know what matters. I don't know, I've always just struggled against elves. Elves is just a hard deck for me to figure out. I would like to play first. Nice. Take 
kind of medium, but we have a brainstorm and some interaction, some wastelands. Like, we can't cast Tarmor Wife, which kind of sucks. But let's hope we don't get waste ourselves wastelanded here. Sorry about that. Yeah, there's there's two decks in modern that are just clearly better than the rest of them. So I'm just gonna spell pierce whatever here. It's kind of an odd brainstorm, but I actually think my opponent's like storm or something like that. Okay. No, play this and pass. I can brainstorm into the true name if I want to pitch it, but that just seems worse than. True name's actually a faster clock than Karma Goyf is. Though I can play Goyf and still be able to brainstorm, which might be worth something. Ugh. Playing right into that stifle. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna brainstorm because I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch the true name because it's too slow. Because I'm gonna end up. Uh, I just want to see if I can find anything else to do, and I didn't, which is unfortunate. But I'll put this back, and I'll put. And I'll put this underneath this. And I'll force this pitch true name. I was looking for something else, like maybe if I found a daze, but now I'm just gonna go wasteland Tarmogoyf. My clock's pretty slow, but hopefully. This is not, I should have hid my voice in case they went like uh, post combat. Um Post combat, uh, like Thoughtsy, something like that, off of a LED, or off, not off an LED, off a pedal. It probably doesn't take, doesn't, it's not going to take my opponent much to go off here. Bob. Oh, so we're playing it's the Phoenix deck. Well, luckily we have a lightning bolt on top of our deck. That grows Goyf too. I don't think the Phoenix decks are very good. <coughs> so we need to draw a new card next turn. Card matches up against Goyf really well. I'm going to play Delver. Hopefully my opponent doesn't go super nuts with this Pyromancer. It kind of counts as going nuts, unless you're just going to bury it alive right now. That would be aggressive to just bury alive. Okay. I think bury alive is one of their two cards because they dark ritual. 
Pyre Ranch is going to do a good job of brick walling this goalie. We got three bolts, one dead gone, and one dismember for that. Though the bolt might be going upstairs if this Delver flips. Do you know if Abe Corrigan has a sideboard guide? No, but Sadeku or Sadek, I don't know how to say it, uh, does. Uh, if you can find him on Twitter, he's like the one of the Moto Trophy leaders. Plays nothing but dredge. You should attack. I wasn't going to block. No, it was gross. Okay. Attack with Tarmor Life. Rawr. And then just play another Delver. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, this Gar this Tarn wife is gonna get walled off. But we have two Delvers, so these Delvers flip. We got them on a two turn clock. We can do here. I'm just kind of chilling out. So we have the old F6 button. My opponent should be attacking with some of with some of their creatures. Like probably like this will come in. I doubt this will come in because this is effectively shutting off of this while getting some damage in. Pedal. Should at least send one of the one ones. Like this should attack. Yeah. Great job, opponent. Come on, Delvers. Alright, that's not bad. That flips everything. Alright, they scooped it up. I had a force coming. Okay. So playing Phoenix, uh, the dismember's not great. Um, surgical, cards we do want over here. Surgical, cage, flusterstorm. Not wild about all of my goifs, especially on the draw. Not wild about all my stifles on the draw. Spell Snare is good. Spell Pierce is good. Um, I would like another piece of removal, I think, but I don't want to cut any more of my threats. I probably can just trim another Stifle and then bring in this Dead Gone. Yeah, this is how we'll do it here. I don't know if this is correct to do or not, but it's it's how it's how we're gonna it's how we're gonna do it. Need some water. I'm already thirsty. There's a chance that is it static caster actually should come in because my opponent's decks, all of the creatures in the deck are X ones. But I don't really need to see what I would cut for it. But I want to make room for my three stifles when I'm on the play to just play the new mana denial game. But I don't really know what I'm going to cut. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We have a threat that's very good against Young Pyromancer. That's something I've also been impressed with Hooning Mandrels, is just that his trample is really nice. It's just been a very good like supplemental threat 
All right, something's getting discard spelled. Do your worst. We got kind of a little bit of everything covered here. I think my opponent should take my brainstorm or the hooting mandrels. I think either of those would be the better pick. Like you can take Forest, but whatever. We have a spell pierce. Okay, it's a Hooter. Taking Hooter's not bad. It's not a bad one for them to not know about. I will probably end up brainstorming end of turn. I'm going to spell pierce a discard spell. Gonna trade this in. Snare it. It's also a nice one to have. So we're we're pretty set up to just to do well in this game. We get like all a little bit of everything. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just see another card. Like brainstorming here is kind of medium. So I'm gonna hide the true name because that's like the most important card, and then I'll put the dead gone. I'll put the the dead gone on the bottom. And then the true name on top, and then play this trot so that I can spell pierce without uh, spell pierce without tapping out. All right. Well, now we're just gonna slam the old nemesis, and I'll just get another red source. We have our slow and steady claw that is young pyromancer proof, which is nice. We're in pretty good shape. I don't think I'm going to force a discard spell. That's just going to name force. Because they know I have it. Or at least they think they know. They might take surgical. It wouldn't be awful. I think force a will is the best name for them. Yeah. All right, we're just going to – actually, I think I'm going to brainstorm. I don't mind shuffling away this bolt. And if we find another threat, it's just nice. going to speed the clock up. All right, we did not find that. So I'm just going to wait because if my opponent – Resolves a discard spell, they're likely going to go after the um, surgical, and having two of them is just nice. So I'm going to ponder now. All right, all these are good. Delver will flip next turn, then it'll be two turn clock. All right, scoop it up. All righty. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. We've got 33 viewers watching. I just became a partner on YouTube, so now I'm making 
making money from my YouTube videos. So you all should go over to my YouTube channel, which is linked below, and watch all the replays. Because your boy gets paid for that. Not a lot of money, but it is something. And we like getting something. Because money is money. I like this deck. I, I, I really like Cinder Vines in this deck, though. Daryl said in his tweet that he really didn't like it. I like how Cinder Vines is just like a little planeswalker that just sits in play and just pings your opponent. Just mess, like messes with your opponent playing magic. Like, Winter Orb's also good, but like against the best control, but that's like against Grixis control, like the other one's much better. The Cinder Vines is because it's just harder to interact with. All right, we're going to keep this one. Forest. That's scary. Probably playing against Depths, which is not a good matchup for the home team. All right, well, this thing is getting... Wastelanded in my opponent's upkeep. We did that to play around crop rotation a little bit. Oh, so we're playing against OG land. We can get that out of here. Rotate them crops. This is all just protect the queen. I guess I could brainstorm to try to find another Delver. Man, I'm good at this game. I want to play a land next turn, so, well, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I, sh I probably shouldn't have shown Lightning Bolt. Ah, uh, because there's a lot of Stoneforge Mystics running around. So now my opponent is dead through a mirror lage. So like even if they make the 2020, it's not good enough. All right. Okay. So this is good because it bounces mirror lage. This is good. Winter Orb can't be good in this matchup. We're currently 1-1 one one in this league. We're up a game. Library is probably also good. This isn't good. Uh, split card's dead gone. Stifle's all right. Spell is probably not that good, actually. Um... Probably don't need all four of my lightning bolts. I don't really want to bring in grudge for sphere effects. Days is probably also not that great. I can keep bolts in to try to cheese out games. I would assume days on the draw is not that good. No, it doesn't. I can keep in spell snare to slow down low. Like I just don't think days days probably just isn't gonna be that good.
Here's what we're doing. What if they have Chad? We'll figure that out next game. Uh, I want to keep this hand because I have turn one Delver, but I only have one land. These cards aren't that good. I think I'll just Dragon. All right. We have fourth for the first play. Fox Diamond. Okay. Maze of Earth. We can stifle a wasteland if we need to. But we'll definitely spell pierced a gamble there. Support me up, port me up, buttercup, baby. Watch you let me down. Worth all around. Alright, shall I let this go? Arrow pass. Now we're in trouble. I don't think we can overboard, you know? Oh, yeah, now we're dead. All right, we take a draw step. Yeah. I can keep playing, but... Like, if I thought a tournament, I would keep playing, but not. Well, I'm just streaming for fun. I don't think Grudge is worth it. I think it's just too slow. A lot more of these days is on the play. Probably can cut this now that we're on the play. Spell Pierce is also kind of medium. I don't know why I even had it. I guess it hits like Sylvan Library. But we're just going to submit. Alright, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan. Yeah, we're going to keep it. It's not great, but we can play Magic. Put that on the bottom. We need threats. These aren't threats. That's not a threat. All right, that's okay. Could have just played my volcanic and given him another target to waste. Port. I think like Grixis. Stoneblade and Miracles. I just grabbed the list, Tim. I thought about bringing Winter Orb in against this deck. You know what would be nice? A true name with this. Kind of want to just waste him. Waste them off of green. Might be loose. I don't know. I guess it's kind of loose because like it makes so that one of my lands doesn't do as much. I could actually surgical the wasteland and pick this up, but I don't really want to. Okay. All right. There's something. I can daze a loam and then surgical the loam. It's kind of nice. Do you, is it is it smart to bring in Winter Orb against lands, Tim? And resolve or and resolve. Okay. But 
I wanted that. <coughs> Rude. I really want to just waste my opponent. But I should probably wait for like a maze of it. No lands. I've got two or one drop left in my deck. I could have done the surgical days thing, but like, I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to. I don't know. I'll think about it more this time. All right, we're just gonna get ported a bunch, which is okay. All right, we have a plan for next turn. Opponent's got a slow start here, which is good for us. It's gonna pump Goyf too. All right, we're in action, baby. I gotta keep a blue card. I think this library is going, and I think that this days is going. Well, I'm gonna draw the library and then put the days underneath of it. Yeah. I don't think I think we're past the time of the days being relevant. Though I could just I could just slam the library here. I think I'd rather just get another Tarmogoyf out. My opponent's not super close to killing me. Beginning of each of your upkeep, destroy. Yeah, we can get that out of my life. It's gonna grow voice. Means my opponent's boltable. We played a thicket. What do they have going on over there? Makes sense. I'm wondering if there's any reason for me to just waste them. Like what what are they gonna do to me next turn? Like gamble for tabernacle and I can pay for tabernacle? Yeah, I don't think wasting does a lot. This is gonna dig me to a lightning bolt. Now that my opponent's in bolt range. I guess I can like glacial chasm me, but then I can deal with the glacial chasm. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's being the stage. All right. What do they need here? They're one, two. They need to have like. They should do this right now. If they're going to make their 2020, they should just do it. So I still have days for crop rotation. So. I don't really see it. Like it has to be crop rotation, right? Like this has got to be crop rotation. For like, and it's got to be for either chasm. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Well, doesn't matter. Pay for life. Pay for life. Attack with both of my creatures. Bolt you. Got it. All right. I was trying to think about what my opponent could have there, but I'm or what just was not really sure. But I, I figured that it started with crop rotation. And they only had one land up. Yeah, and, and I had the wasteland. Yeah, so you're su you were super right about keeping the wasteland up because that means that they couldn't just like main phase rotation for what they need to play around, even though it was a daze, they didn't know, you know, play around this one where I can see off the library. God, Tim, you're so smart. All right, I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. This hand wants, like, I don't know. I don't know, not to see that. Ugh. Oh, that's vomit inducing. I think this deck plays Wasteland. Oh, my hand was so good. And then my opponent played a non. All right, you got it. A non uh, whatever it is land. I'm just gonna brainstorm now because like I, I'm just not gonna have the time to do a lot of stuff. So okay, so now I can go Delver plus Bolt. So I might as well just put both of these back. this play Delver my goy's gonna be big yep you got it it's probably gonna take a ponder if I had to guess like stifle just doesn't really do anything the stifle life Yep, they do this now. So we got mom. Okay. Yes. And we're going to play Tarmogoyf. Hey, I got the next three activations of mom covered. Opponent knows my hand, so I can get on that, that F6. Ugh. If he sends back my Delver, okay. He's got a Lieutenant also, no Middling Mage. The Mage Stifle, okay. So I'm taking two, just one. I think I have to try to race this. That's not a bad draw. Well, it is kind of a, I mean, that, that bolt's just going upstairs. Because I can't bolt any of my opponent's creatures. I just kind of have to hope that they just derp out. They don't really do a lot.
I think I'm just gonna bolt my opponent. Cause like they could draw a step freebooter me, and then it's like bolt them, maybe not be able to play my Tarmogoyf. All right, meddling mage, main goyf. Okay. One, two. We have two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just like, so even if I, yeah, I'm just dead. Ugh. All right, we have a lot of removal to bring in. So like this is good, this is good, this is good. Red Elemental Blast is kind of a maybe. Grudge hits Vile, but that's it. This kills Mage. This kills Mage and uh, I'm not sure what I can't escape the humans even in Legacy. You're right. Even like Sylvan Libraries, maybe, because it's a lot of filtering if we're going to try to go bigger. Cards that are not good. Spell Pierce, no bueno. Days is probably okay. Stifle's not good. Take another Spell Pierce. Yeah, I think we're going to try this. That's the problem with... Uh, that's just the problem with Death Shadow in general. I'm going to play a version of Death Shadow tonight that has a little less of that problem, but it's just a bigger deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep this. We have a lot of removal spells. Don't have a lot of cantrips. Well, I'm just going to waste that. I'm going to bolt this and waste the land. Okay. Delver. Tarn Wife is not a Delver. My God, don't play Athalia. Jeez. Okay. This card has haunted my life for the last, like, three years. This card just beats me in every format I play. It's only my colored mana. No, so it does make it does make uncolored mana for spells. I guess I could have dazed. Maybe I should but I'm trading a daze for just that and sending me back a land drop's not great. That's not a bad draw. I'll just pass, kill this. Probably actually kill this, then play Goyf. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to kill this meddling mage. Mother of Ruins. Okay. 
<sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna play Goyf. Like, like we might be able to kill Mom eventually. Because like they're gonna have to tap Mom to get in damage. I guess they don't even have to because the Thalia gets so big. Jeez, who said? Who thought this was okay? Who thought this was okay to put this this deck into Legacy? Coming in here, just whipping me. Alright, I yield. I yield. Also, like, this deck, that deck's just, like, uh, it's not that the deck's not good. I just don't think it's really good right now. Because, like, the decks that did really well, uh, did doing well, like, the SCGs and the um, Legacy thing, yeah, was uh, the Tundra decks. So we're playing for the 3-2, so hopefully we get, we get there. All right, so it's pretty solid. If only Wasteland produced colored mana, that would be sweet. Quick League. Oh, we're playing that shadow. Nice. I'm tempted just to wasteland this because I don't want to fight with my force and I don't want to go ponder and get it dazed. So I think I'm just going to daze my opponent. It's not great to daze while you're on the back foot, but we have an answer to that Delver. Might have to force this. No, I don't have to force this thought sees. Cause I can just race them. If need be. I'd much rather save my force for like I don't know. A Dell, uh, like a Death Shadow. We can handle this Delver. We have five other removal spells that kill it. Land is actually pretty nice. I wonder if I should just waste them again. They only have four cards. Yeah, I've got the time. Kind of playing with fire here. Why would you why would you do that then? Alright, so opponent doesn't have any lands. So now I'm gonna play my own Delver. We drew a daze also. Days is a nice draw. How's it going, Teddy? My that's the first land my opponent's drawn, so I'm just going to daze this. 
hope my Delver flips, set our Delvers up to trade. Actually, I'm not going to trade if they attack. I'm not even going to offer the trade if they play defense. I'm going to try to find a Lightning Bolt. Yeah, this is okay. All right, no, didn't happen. Okay. That this member is a little dangerous, but I'm going to keep it on top. I'm going to draw a brainstorm. It's going to get dicey. Someone's got my blood pumping a little bit. Brainstorm is nice. All right, we're going to let that go. We're just kind of in a holding pattern here. So this is a dismember. I think the ponder is better. You got four plus blue card, buddy. Days. So now I'm going to go to one here. Yeah. Let's not get dazed again. Ding. Yeah, still playing around days. And this is like the reason why my deck is better than my opponent's because they just don't play the card lightning bolt. You can't, if you cast Goyf and they have a creature, then you're just dead, Teddy. But you can't cast Tarmogoyf, right? Ooh. All right, well, we're going to hope that they don't have. The creature we can't we can't wasteland there because they just will play uh, days. Or not days, they'll just play their underground sea, which we know they have. All right, this is good for the home team. No, we don't know about days. We're just playing around it. But you can't cast, yeah, you can't cast Tarmogoyf because then your dismember's dead because you can't pay the life. And if they play a blocker, you're dead to the Delver. So we had the we had the colored source coming next. I couldn't remember if it was a colored source or a wasteland. So I think a card in the air is probably good. Um, then like Flusterstorm's good. That's kind of it though. 
kind of need all my forces on the draw. These spell pierces are not that great. So we're probably just going to go like this. Blast isn't great against because their deck's too black. Library, maybe, but I don't think that's what the game's going to be about. The geese, the geese ain't good. That's why we got rid of them. This dead gun's probably decent. Cut one of these. We need to keep an extra amount of forces in our deck than a normal Delver Mirror because Force of Will is a removal spell. Because, like, it's just, their creatures are so big that it's just so hard to get through that. We'll keep this. Library was definitely a maybe. Library gets better on the play against the Hinvatora deck. For sure. Uh, we have him to Torak covered. Yeah. Days. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Because we can just race this Delver because of the nature of our opponent's deck. Now, because of reanimate, we have to counter this, but I really want to get my Tarmogoyf in play. But I think I have to be able to force the important cards. So I'm going to daze this. But we have to force the cards that are worth fighting about, which are the Death Shadows. All right, well, now I'm going to go with the Fetch Land because I don't want to get Wastelanded, but I still have him covered. Probably Fluster Storm anything here. Discard spell, cantrip. My opponent's only got three cards left. Our hand's like kind of thought sees proof. So I'm just going to get. Use my mana while I can. Doesn't grow Tarmogoyf, but... Such is life. Can't erase the second one of these, so don't have a daze. Okay. I guess they have reanimate. Reanimate also shrinks my turmoil. That was stupid of me to force that. I guess it just slows them down because like if they flip that Delver, then I was in a lot of trouble. Okay. Wasteland. Okay.
All right. Should have done this all pre combat because it grows Tarmogoyf. This is the old R Delver is going to flip to Lightning Bolt routine. Whoa. No flip is probably still bad. All right, I'm going to trade here because it takes a turn, a clock off the turn. But they probably just drew a Gurmag Angler or a Death Shadow. Then a Delver. Okay. Oh. <sighs> So they've got two anglers, four shadows, four delvers. Two anglers, four shadows, four delvers is 10. Four wraiths is 14. 18 lands is 32. So you have 32 flips. I guess I can find dead. So I can look for six cards because I have two deads in my deck. I should have thought about that before combat. We're just going to play Goyf. Don't flip. That's a pause. Like, it's not flipping. That's a my Delver's not flipping pause. All right, land makes sense. Here's just bitter blossom. That don't do it. All right, lightning bolt. Please don't do anything. Not bad. Again, why would you bring this card in? All right. So let's go back to the deck here. Let's open up our pity chest. There we go. Mana barbs descend its path. Okay. I opened up a surgical a little while ago. Okay. So I've been playing with this deck for a while. And. Yo, Dylan, see your professional like usually. <laughs> yeah. To me, and Lightning Bolt shuffles blindly draw. Everyone's getting something. So, I actually think this deck is good. Like, moving away from Mongoose and playing Hoots Magoots and True Name is nice. Tarmogoyf is just good at the moment. The blue-red decks can't kill Tarmogoyf. Um, I think this deck's better than any of the two-color Delver decks. Uh, I, play, I played them all. I think it's better. 
I don't know if it's better than Grixis Delver. Um, but it's a solid deck. Um, cards that I've played in the sideboard that I've really liked is I've liked, um, I've liked Cinder, uh, Cinder Barons or Cinder Vines a lot. Like I think Cinder Vines helps out with your control matchups and it helps out with your, um, helps out with control. And that's really all I bring it in. I, I think it's too clunky to bring it against combo decks. You just don't need it. Your deck already like slaughters combo decks. I think that like Winter Orb is there's not really much difference between Winter Orb and um for Winter Orb against like I don't know how to say this. Um like Winter Orb is decent, but I think Cinder Vine's doubling is a shatter that deals damage. Like you can actually kill um you can kill back to basics. You can kill uh, Ether Vial, or you can kill Baleful Strix, and it deals them two damage, so you can attack. So I really like Cinder Vines. I think like I would like to make a couple Cinder Vines in this deck. Like that, that's something that I would like to do to improve it. Um, but besides that, I think that's pretty solid. We lost the two Tribal decks, which we kind of have. Like that's kind of the problem with this deck right now. We don't have any sweepers. I think the tribal decks are pretty bad because I think that Stoneblade and Miracles are super popular right now. And those just eat the tribal decks alive. So, but yeah, that's that's this deck overall. So, all right.